This is it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's all calm down. He caught him on an angle. No, nigga, you calm down. Come on, something. Let's all calm down. Nigga, it's an empty arena. Flying colors. Recording his What's the most Let's all calm down. The ref. Wasn't nobody in the ring. Let's get you the highlights. Six round knockout. Wow. He gonna tell about something. Let's all calm down. Ain't nobody in the ring. This ref. Look, he down there fucked up, y'all. So anyway, let me stop cussing. Let me tell you what happened. Midway through the sixth round, Sergey Limpignets caught. We got to see the replay. I don't know if it was a hook turning on an angle. And now he down there. I get he not sleep. I guess he kind of sleep. Damn. Oh no, he cool. He up. So I'm teaching you controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Jerron Boots Enos gets a six round knockout over Sergey Limpignet. And what is going to be a statement? What people are going to say is a statement when? Let me let me let me mute this. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and say it. I like the fight. I like it for the career and the step up for Boots Ennis, Jerron Boots Ennis. But I don't rate, and I never rated Sergey Olympiads very highly. Just like Floyd Mayweather would say, he's straight up and down, no special effects. So with that 67-inch reach against the, the Boots Ennis' 74-inch reach, the fighting styles and the fact that I've seen every single Sergey Limpignets fight and covered all of them pretty much. Watch this punch. Let's see where it comes from. It's on an angle. Boom. Boom. That one right there. That ended him. That ended him. And then look. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Something, something, something again. And then I'm here to tweet. No, don't, don't. Is it how the words go? No, to tweet. Something. It hurt really bad. Oh, no. <laughs> my bad, I'm tripping. My bad, I'm tripping. Damn. Got him out of there. Well, I mean, for the people who look at this and say, like, yo, you know, I just never rated Sergey Limping yes that highly. I'm sorry. Let's look at the punch stats. Listen in. Please subscribe. Like the video. 53% of power punches for Boots Ennis. He normally lands at a high rate. 53% is really extraordinary. And landing 42% over all of his punches. Uh, and for that man, Sergey Lipinets, very disappointing. But he ran into a young rising star. Let's make it official. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Yeah. Flat Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 11 seconds of round number 6. He is the winner by way mm. of knockout. He is still undefeated. Jerron Boots Ennis. Nice fight, fellas. It's, it's, it's it's still the way he's going. He's only 24 years old. So Gerard Boots Ennis now with 18 knockdowns in his last nine mm. fights. And as we mentioned, still He's good. hasn't gone past the sixth. And the no one man should have all that power. <laughs> that is that is a <laughs> All right. Well, Jim Gray is ready yeah. to talk to the winner. I am, but Boots isn't quite ready for me. Now he is. <laughs> <laughs> Boots, congratulations. Uh, your performance tonight, very impressive. Uh, a lot of people thought that this would be like a graduation nowhere. day for you, stepping up, fighting a good fighter, terrific fighter like uh, Lipinets. Uh, how would you assess where you are, and did you graduate? Uh, most definitely, I feel like I graduated. I want to thank uh, Lipinets and his, uh, his team for uh, taking the fight and allowing me to, you know, put on a beautiful show for the fans. And like I said before, it, no, it's only up now. For the, it's, it's only up. It's a uh, bigger and better fights now. What also, enabled you to connect on so many power punches so regularly? 
his post fight press conference. What enabled you to connect like on so many power this, punches so regularly this we're evening? Streaming, we're streaming um, that's, this we work on the gym. A lot of power shots, a lot of speed, having fun, and you know, doing my thing. And that's what I did. Which side are you more comfortable with? It seemed like you switched up quite a bit. And, and was that to confuse Lipinets? Uh. I'm, I'm comfortable on both sides. I'm, it's natural for me. I don't know when I switch, so this is all, everything all natural, and that's about it. Let's take a look as, uh, you can't see it right here, but in the fourth round when you knocked him down, um, looked like your feet got tangled. Do you think it was a legitimate knockdown? This um, a knockdown. I'm not sure. I know I threw a, a shot with it, that so wasn't a I, I know it, I counted it as a knockdown anyway. And then tell us uh, from your vantage point what happened at the end of the fight. Uh, just me uh, seeing openings I mean, and I see that he wasn't really as real, good on the inside as me. So that's why I started, you know, getting a little closer and start touching, touching and then looking for my big shot and I found it. Look at this one. Do you think it's going to be hard for oh, you to I get a fight it. now? Um, no. I'm uh, going to well, again. Hold on. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I mean, who but knows? Uh, one over. of the guys might give me a fight and want to fight me. So we'll see. But I definitely think I'm ready for, uh, you know, top five, top three guys. Let's well, go. Well, there's Crawford, there's Spence. Uh, perhaps the most likely path would be Ugas. Is that what you'd like to do? Mo most definitely. You know, bring him on. I think, he, uh, I, think they, I think he's supposed to be fighting Spence or something like that coming up. So hopefully I get the winner of that. Uh, that'd be a great fight for me. Where do you have to improve? Um, just... You know, stand more relaxed, and that's, I think I did that this fight. Stand more relaxed, more uh, calm and composed, uh, and I'm gonna continue to keep working on that. And you know, jabbing more, and you know, just getting out of the way and having what fun. What do you mean by relaxed? Are, are you nervous? No, not nervous. Just <laughs> not nervous. Just like when I hit somebody, I get a little excited sometimes. Okay. Uh, sometimes, but th this fight, I didn't really, you know, get too much excited. I knew I hurt him, but I knew he was gonna be durable and stuff like that. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna take my time, coast it out and then keep touching, keep touching. I know eventually I was going to break them down. So just being more relaxed. Terrific fight. A lot of fun to watch. Congratulations, Booth. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. You. All right, Moral, back to you. All right, Jim. All right. Nice to have you back, my friend. So let's mute right there. Um, the post-fight press conference for Boots is going to be next. So in the meantime, let's talk about who he can realistically fight. Like, who can he realistically fight looking at the rankings? Now, of course, we can start throwing out a whole bunch of names out there. But, you know, like, if they're not realistically possible, you think he could fight uh, Stanonius, the guy who just beat up uh, Tomas Delorme, who fought in a co-feature? I think that's reasonable. Guys like Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Virgil Ortiz Jr., I'm sorry, he's not fighting those guys right now. Now, if you want to talk about it, it'll be fantasy. We can talk about fantasy matchups, but right now, it's not looking like he's going to be fighting any of those guys. I'm surprised he was able to fight Sergey Limpinets, to be honest with you. It's going to be really difficult for him to get a fight because, for one, he don't bring in a lot of money right now because he's still a fringe contender. He's just getting out of prospect status. So you know how that is for fighters when they're up and coming. You see what I'm saying? They don't. They have to fight to get fights. Remember when Keith Thurman used to be begging to get guys like Paulie Malignaggi and Robert Guerrero? Eventually, he did get Robert Guerrero. But look how much money had to be on the line. So I'm sorry. I don't see him being able to get them. I don't. It's unfortunate. But I don't. So we have to start looking at guys that are realistic. Guys like Costio Clayton. The guy that Sergey Limpignets fought for the, to a draw to. Guys like Katrilo Akdukorov. Guys like that. You know, those are realistic options. David Efrenesian, if Connor Ben don't get him. Do I see a Boots Ennis versus a Connor Ben? No, I don't. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me pull up the um, post uh, fight. Let me pull up the post fight. Guys, and uh, yeah, so like I was saying. Hold on, they're um, getting up out of here. Yeah, that's it for that. So like I was saying, it's going to be interesting. Nobody, I, I did raise my hand to get a question, but I raised my hand at the last uh, moment. What I was going to ask was, I was going to ask, okay, well, uh, because Ennis has already talked about that fighters don't want to fight him. So if you don't know, normally fighters have fighters already lined up or possibly that they're possibly been in negotiations for. So say, for example, I wanted to ask, um, um, Jerron Boots Ennis, 
you know, okay, well, is there anybody you or your team has reached out to before this fight in expectation that you would defeat Sergey Limpinets? Because a lot of times you ask them before they fight, you know, whoever, they're going to say, oh, well, I'm just focused on this fight. So I wanted to ask, like, what they're looking at a name, but we got to figure out what names are they looking at. And I've already talked to you about the possible names that he can possibly fight. And right now, you know, if I was to put my money on a name, I would say he's going the WBA route. Stanionis, one of these people, one of these ranked people, but I would guess it would be somebody in the top 10, maybe Abel Ramos um, versus Omar Figueroa, winner or loser. Whoever this guy is right here, one of these two guys, I think they would go after him. But like, you know, he's fighting one of the top one or two ranked guys. That's what it's looking like to me. And as I said, guys like Mikey Garcia, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, I don't see him fighting any of those guys. Even a Catrillo, um, um, Abdukhorov, I covered him. He's over on PBC now. That's a possible fight. Clayton, there you go. Custio Clayton. I think, yo, it probably is probably going to be Clayton. There you go. I think we figured it out. Ernest Terry, you the fucking man, bro. I think we figured it out. I think it's going to be, listen, you got to do process of elimination. So on my website, our rankings are updated every month. Like I need these rankings and my colleague update them every month because I don't have, I wouldn't, I need these tools. You see what I'm saying? There you go. That's it. It's probably going to be Clayton. That's a nice, you know, step up from Limpin Yetz, especially since Limpin Yetz, you know, and him fought to a draw. But let me get up out of here because I still have to watch the Joe Smith fight and I got to get that video uploaded.